Hello students, uh, welcome to Short Ups or Classes. So in this particular video lecture as we know, we are solving the problems from AP Calculus AB exam and we are solving at this point the multiple choice question from part A. So this has, uh, you can see that the total time hours is 1 hour 45 minutes and number of question is 45. So percent of the total score is 50 percent. Okay. So here have these two parts, part A and part B. So in part A is 30 questions and part B is 15 questions. For part A you will have one hour time and for part B it's 45 minutes time is allotted. So we will this uh, solve this question from question number 6. So question number 6 is saying that if x plus 3 y to the power 1 by 3 is equal to y then what is the value of dy dx the differentiation of y with respect to x at the point 2 comma 8 right so first uh, before solving the problem so the topic is from implicit differentiation okay so just uh, So this question is from the topic implicit differentiation. Okay. So let us solve this problem. So this six given. So in the implicit differentiation, so chain rule. is the basis of implicit differentiation is the basis for implicit differentiation so how to do this sum implicit differentiation so what we have to do 1 plus y 2 to the power 2 by 3 y, y to the power 2 by 3 and it will be uh, minus in front of that right dy dx is equal to we have this y on this side so it will be again dy dx right so now if we the point 2 comma 8 is there already so it's on the curve that is 2 comma 8 means it is at x equal to 2 and y equal to 8 it satisfy the equation okay so at this point we will have this 1 plus 1 by 4 dy dx equal to dy dx so if you can do this it will be simplify this 3 by 4 dy dx equal to 1 or dy dx at the point 2 comma 8 the value will be 1 by it's 4 by 3 right so the correct option for Question number 6 is D, that is 4 by 3. So this is the value of dy dx at point 2 comma 8. So question number 7, so question number 7 we have to find the value of this derivative x to the power 5 minus 5 to the power x. So the topic of this is derivatives of cos x sin x e to the power x and ln x okay so we know by power rule it is quite easy to do this sum so by power rule x to the power 5 will be 5 x to the power 4 right and the exponential function this exponential function 
if we do this derivative of this 5 to the power x so it will be nothing but ln of 5 by 5 to the power x ok so for this value d of dx so this x to the power 5 minus 5 to the power x it will be equal to 5x to the power 4 minus ln 5 ln 5 5 to the power x so this will be the value for this particular derivative so what will which is the correct option d is the correct option for question number 7 so question number 8 is given that we have to find the limit of this particular expression so what will be the value of this limit so the topic of this particular sum so it is from the connecting limits at infinity and horizontal asymptotes okay so let us write this function first so it is 10 minus 6 x square by in the denominator it is 5 plus 3 e to the power x so here you can see that the numerator is a translated power function and the denominator over here it is a translated exponential function ok so since the exponential function e to the power x right so this e to the power x in the denominator it grows faster than the power function x square over here right so the relative magnitude this relative magnitude of the denominator okay so the relative magnitude of this denominator compared to the numerator So it will be result in the expression converging to zero. Okay. So this will be converging to zero as x tends to infinity. So our correct option in this case is option B, that is 8B, that is zero. So the question number 9 is saying that, so let R be the region bounded by the graphs y equal to 2x, so this is a straight line and this y equal to 4x minus x squared. So this sort of a parabola, so we have to find the area of the R that is enclosed by this region, right. So in case of what is this topic below, so we have to find the area between curves expressed as functions of x ok so here we have given these two graphs that is y equal to 2x and let's write this so we have these two curves that is y equal to 2x and y equal to 
4x minus x square right so this graph intersect at which point at x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 right so this graph from here you can see that the graph of this from the point of intersection so the graph of y equal to 4x minus x square this lies above the graph y equal to 2x right and it will be on the interval 0 less than x less than 2. So one way to see is to sketch a graph of the parabola and the line you can do that. Now observing that the graph of this particular this parabola that is y equal to uh, this excess 4x minus x square is it has a slope of 4 at x equal to 0 and this particular the graph of y equal to 2 2x has a slope of 2 right so that we have to find the area okay so the area of the region bounded by the two graphs so it will be simply integral in the interval you have given 0 to 2 right so it will be since the parabola is above the line so it will be 4x minus x square minus of 2x dx so if we simplify this so it will be simply 0 to 2 2x minus x square dx okay so it will be from this side if we solve this so it will be x square minus x cube by 3 right so from 0 to 2 so if we solve this you will get the value as so from here you can just do the solve so 4 minus 8 by 3 or simply 4 by 3. So this will be the area of the region bounded by these two curves. So let's check with the option. So it is 4 by 3 that is the option B is the correct one. The area will be 4 by 3. So question number 10 is given that the graph of a function f is shown above so this is the figure of this function f so if g is the function defined by gx is equal to x square plus 1 by fx so what is the value of g prime of 2 so first moving into the solving into the problems so we have to understand the topic that is it is the from the quotient rule okay now solving this uh, for this uh, particular solve so we have to find the derivative of the g first so g is given this so okay so gx is equal to x square plus 1 by f of x so f of x the graph is shown right so the derivative of g the derivative of g is found by using the quotient rule okay so we will have this so from here we will have this g prime of x so it will be equal to so you have this 2 of x fx minus f prime x x square plus 1 so divided by this will be nothing but f of x whole square right so the graph of f is used to determine that so from the graph you can see that f of 2 okay so f of 2 is equal to 3 okay right 
so an f prime this f of prime of 2 what will be the value right so this f of prime equal to nothing but 7 minus 3 by 3 minus 2 which is nothing but 4 so that is the value of f2 and f prime 2 now if we put this value so over here it will be so we have to find the value of g prime 2 okay so g prime 2 will be nothing but so this value in this value we will put this so 2 of x so that is 4 and it is f2 directly again it is f prime of 2 and x square plus uh, 2 uh, 1 is 5 okay and in the denominator it will be f of 2 whole square right so 4 of f of 2 is 4 this f2 means 3 this 4 multiplied by 3 minus of f of uh, f prime 2 is 4 into 5 and this f prime 2 stands for this 4 square that is 16 so if we solve this we will have the answer as 12 minus 20 that is minus 8 and so f, f of 2 so this is uh, 3 this is not f prime so this is 3 square so 3 square it will be minus 8 over 9 okay so if we check the correct option so it will be option a for question number 10 minus 8 by 9